Hello to all you wonderful people. I, along with Baseball Freak, want to thank you for all the support of the last video. Yeah, thank you guys. Y'all are awesome. Now it's time for the tier list. Wait a sec, Don. I think we need someone who can help us out with this tier list. I think you're right, Obama, and I know just the person to help us out. All I can say is it better not be Sleepy Joe. Barack, do you seriously think that human Snorlax is even awake? I mean, for God's sake, all he does is eat ice cream, take naps, and soil himself. I hear no lies. Anyway, who are you going to get to help us? I'll just let him introduce himself. Hola, mi hermanos. What's up, Donny T and Barack Obi? What's up, Danny? Glad you can join us. Yeah, it's nice to see you again, Danny. Haha, <laughs> glad to be here. Anyway, let's get into this tier list. I'm ready. Starting it off with Jeff Bagwell. Overall, he was a very good first baseman for the Astros. He's not the most insane player, but a solid one nonetheless. Very good offensively and not too bad defensively. I'm thinking somewhere between exceptional and great. Wow, for once, I don't think we're too far off Donald. Bagwell was a very good first baseman all around. I think he deserves great over exceptional, though. You know what? That sounds fine. I can live with that. Now on to Ernie Banks, one of the premier shortstops of all time. Good on both sides of the ball. I'm torn between legend and great, but I'm leaning more towards great. A part of me wants to say legend because of just how good Ernie was. But being that I hate the Cubs because I'm a White Sox fan, I'll be fine with Ernie and great. On to one of the best of the best hammering, Hank. I don't think we even need to discuss this one. Nope. Let's let Danny go ahead and take this next one since he hasn't gotten any action. Adrian Belcher was an amazing player, almost a 100 war with 3,000 plus hits and almost 500 homers. I think he gets into legend tier easily. I have to agree with you, Danny. The stats don't lie. He was truly a legend. Personally, while I believe Beltre is great, I think he belongs more in the great tier. But as I see I'm outnumbered, I'll have to settle for legend, I guess. Johnny Bench is easily a legend tier. One of the best, if not the best, catcher of all time. Again, I hate agreeing with you, Donald, but he truly is a legend. Two-time MVP, a 14-time All-Star, along with 10 gold gloves, easily legend tier. Gary Carter is so mid compared to these other catchers on the list, I want to put him at good, but he's a catcher, so I'd settle for exceptional. That's a bit harsh, Donnie, but yeah, he's nothing special compared to a lot of these other players. Exceptional is good. Wade Boggs is such a boring player. I think he deserves good at best. Wade Boggs is one of my personal favorites. I say great. That's such a load of horse piss, Obama. He was trash. What say you, Danny? Yeah, he was just all right. Put him in exceptional. Fine by me. Absolute bullshit, but whatever. George Brett was awesome back in the day. I enjoyed watching him. However, he is not as good as Beltry, so I think great is fair. While George Brett wasn't as good as Beltra, I believe he was good enough to warrant legend. There's too many players on this list to die on this hill. So sure, great is acceptable for the sake of moving on. I'll take the lead on this one. Lou Brock is an all-time great. He brought speed that the game of baseball hadn't really seen up until Ricky Henderson. He was insanely fast and not the worst hitter either. However, I must say his fielding was okay at best. With that being said, while I really have a soft spot for Lou, he's realistically only exceptional compared to the rest of the players here. Agreed, Obama. Lou Brock was a menace on the base paths, but not nearly as good anywhere else on the field, though exceptional is a fine placement. Moving on to Brooks Robinson, an all-around great player, and one of the best defenders the game has ever seen. He should be no less than legend. While I agree, Brooks was very good. He doesn't qualify for the legend tier to me. There definitely are more than a few third basemen that are better in this selection, so I'd give him exceptional. Yeah, I agree with Barack Brooks is more of an exceptional tier player. Bullshit, bullshit. I cannot believe you two. For the sake of moving on, I'll allow this one time, but God help you both if you do any other player dirty. Miggy is easily a great tier player. He has been such a good player for a long time. However, injuries cost him his legend status because he hasn't truly been special since 2016. I can agree with you, Donald. Miggy was amazing, but father time hasn't been kind to him. Maybe Donald isn't as dumb as I thought he was. All solid points, nothing for me to dispute. I agree. I'll take this one, gents. Eddie Murray is such an amazing player. However, he never gets the love he deserves. For whatever reason, I think he belongs in legend tier easily. While Eddie Murray was a very good player, he doesn't merit legend status for that exact reason. Because not many people know who he was. I say great tier. Donald does have a point. Someone shouldn't be in legend tier if they're not renowned. So great tier is acceptable. 
It does make sense, but I still don't like it. Moving on to Gary Carter, a solid catcher, but nothing amazing. I say put him into exceptional. Donnie, Gary Carter is a really solid player. Exceptional seems a little low to me. I say great tier is more suiting. Yeah, Don, great tier is acceptable. Whatever, let's just move on. Roberto Clemente, what an icon of baseball, both on and off the field. A true five-tool player and one of my favorites of all time. It finally seems we're on the same side, Danny. I couldn't agree more. Roberto was an amazing player and human being. God rest his soul. Yeah, rip to one of the good ones. Legend tier sounds fine to me. Ty Cobb, an absolute all-time great. However, he was a complete degenerate as a human being. While I believe he should be in legend tier as a player, his character puts him down to just great. True, Donald. You can't deny his skill on the field, but man, what an asshole. He was a good player, statistically speaking. So character aside, great is okay. Let's just move on. All right, Andre Dawson was solid. All around a good player, however, compared to the rest of these players, he's nothing to ride home about. Exceptional, I think, is fair. Andre was a beast, but yeah, exceptional is the right answer here. Agreed, Hermanos. Joe DiMaggio, what a stud. He is a true patriot, missing three of his prime years to serve our great country. A great hitter and a three-time MVP. Legend status minimum. Joe DiMaggio was very good, I'll give you that. However, I don't believe he was legend status, I say great. Obama, what the fuck did I just hear you say? That is by far the most ludicrous take I've heard today. Thank God we live in a democracy. Let's see what Danny has to say. I'm with you, Donald. Joe was an absolute legend for the Yankees. His three MVPs alone get him into legend for me. Ha ha, suck on that, Barack. Keep laughing, Donald. I hope that spray-painted wig you wear falls right off your fat orange head. Shut up, Obama. The hair on my ass is worth more than you. Wow, that was kind of mean, Donald. Yeah, maybe, but it's true. Jimmy Fox, what a hitter. He had 500-plus home runs without even getting to 3,000 hits. Need I say more legend tier all the way? Jimmy Fox was a very good hitter. He won the Triple Crown and was a three-time MVP. Legend tier is fitting. Hold on, guys. He was good, but I think legend is a bit too high. It's great tier for me. Donald, I think we may have to get that wall finished so we can put Danny back over it for this abomination of a take. You're not wrong, Barack. Danny, you're on mighty thin ice, buddy. One of the best of the best. Lou Gehrig. The luckiest man who ever lived. He should get at least legend, maybe even Mount Rushmore tier. I think hell might have just frozen over because I am agreeing with Don yet again. Lou Gehrig was the iron horse for a reason. He will always stand the test of time, legend tier it is. I want to disagree so badly because of that last selection, but I can't Lou is legend status. Top of legend status it is. Ken Griffey Jr. is the cream of the crop. One of the most famous and best baseball players to ever live. The kid was amazing in every way imaginable, not to mention the best swing of all time, too. He gets top of legend tier along with Lou. He would be an easy Rushmore pick if not for injuries to his career. Yeah, the kid was incredible, but those injuries really caught up to him. Legend tier hurts, but it makes the most sense. Ken Griffey would have gone down as a top 10 player had it not been for those damn injuries. It hurts the very fabric of my soul to agree, but he just misses out on Rushmore tier all right, I think that concludes the first part of this tier list. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Baseball Freak's channel for more content. What is the goal for part two, Obama? I say double it or nothing. Last time it was 50. So let's shoot for 100 likes. You heard them essays. I want to finish this tier list, so let's get to 100 likes. Once upon a time, there was a little kid. His name was me. Tripped the rip and dragged apart like a barber that can hardly see. He grew up to be big and strong. Pissing the industry off. Wishing they listen because they missed.